Hello, Miguel from Grumo here, and today I want to showcase a Glide template that you can use for recruiting that uses artificial intelligence to help find the best candidates for a given position. Here we are inside the Glide app editor where I created this template, and I'm logged in as the administrator, and I can see several tabs, all the jobs that were posting, the locations for this company, all the applications that were submitted, all the different applicants, the users of this application, under different roles and departments, so the administrator, e editors, and viewers, and their different departments, and then overall settings, where we have the prompt that we're sending to OpenAI to extract data from the PDF resume, and then return a series of parameters, including a summary of the candidate, and a summary of strengths and weaknesses for that candidate, and an overall match score from one to 10 for that specific job, also a company disclaimer, and also an email template for candidates that have been shortlisted for an interview. So let's test how this work. I'm going to go to the actual application as if I was an applicant, and I'm going to apply for the senior CPA accountant role, and I'm going to click the apply button and then select my resume. In this case, I'm gonna select the certified public accountant resume. I have a bunch of different sample resumes here. And now on the background, Glide is extracting the text from this resume. It found a valid email inside the resume, and now we can click Submit. The candidate now gets a thank you message, and on the background, we're going to see a new application, and you can see the application is for Fiat McCarthy, and the match score is eight out of 10, which makes sense because this was a resume for a senior CPA accountant, and the position is for a senior CPA accountant. And we have here a list of all the parameters that were extracted automatically from the PDF, including the email, phone, city, country, all the different skills that were listed inside the resume, the companies that were listed under the employment history, education, and even if there were some employment gaps. In this case, there were no employment gaps. We can always go back and view the resume that was submitted to verify all the information. We can see also what a job this person applied to. And then we have here the artificial intelligence summary, basically saying in one sentence what this resume was all about. So it was for an experienced certified public accountant, the pros, extensive experience in financial reporting, and in cons, limited mention of experience in financial planning and analysis, no specific mention of collaboration with cross-functional teams, and this was all fully generated with artificial intelligence. Of course, anything that is generated with artificial intelligence has to be taken with a grain of salt. But after doing several tests, I found that the closer the resume matches the job description, the higher is the match score generated by OpenAI. Uh, so that is exactly what we're looking for. Now to test if this actually is true, we can apply for a job that has nothing to do with accounting, like a senior software engineer role, and let's apply again. And we are going to upload the same resume for a certified public accountant. The email is detected, we click submit, perfect. Now, if we go back to our applications, we should see a new application. As you can see now, we have a new application that has been rated three out of 10, which makes sense because this was a certified public accountant applying for a senior software engineer. So obviously that score cannot be very high which is exactly what we wanted. Employees can enter their comments about this application here, and they can also edit all the results generated by OpenAI. The skills, education, the math score, summary pros and cons, and delete the application as well. The app will also detect if this applicant has applied before and will mark it as a duplicate if it already exists. We can always go and view the profile and it says it's a duplicate user. In other words, this user has used the same resume twice and we can always delete one of the copies by clicking delete. And that way we won't have duplicate entries under our applicants database. The template already comes with three different types of users. We have administrators, editors and viewers, and depending on our access level, we'll be able to see more or less things that we can do. So if we log in as an editor, you'll see that the users tab disappears because only administrators can add and remove users, but editors can edit 
jobs, they can also post jobs as well here. Now, if we're logged in as a viewer, then we can only view data. We can look at all the different applications, but we cannot edit applications or add job postings. Now, both administrators and editors have the ability to change the status of a job opening, and they can change it from draft to open, hire, or archived. Only open jobs will be visible to applicants. All the other settings, draft, hire, archive, will be invisible to applicants on the web. And also administrators and editors can also change the status of applications, and they can be from applied, shortlisted, interview scheduled, interviewed, hired, or declined. Now let's have a quick at the data where we have all the tables that make up this application. And we have uh, the users table with the uh, different roles, administrator, editor, or a viewer. And also then we have the form that is used to submit applications, all the jobs that are listed, applicants, applications, the locations, the thank you page that is shown to applicants when they submit their resume a comments table, a select table with all the different drop down menus for different forms. And then the overall settings table where we have the company name, support email, logo, the copyright, the loading spinner, uh, default avatar for users and candidates, and then the uh, default prompts for OpenAI and disclaimers and email templates. The important data is always protected. So only users that belong to the organization under the users table have access to private data. So like specifically the applicants table and applications table are protected. We can go here to access and we can see that we're using three row owner columns, which means only the users with one of these roles are able to access this data. And the same for the applicant stable, which can only be accessed by members of the organization that have one of these three roles. Now let's take a look at the actions tab where all the custom actions have been set for the applicant table, for the applications, uh, the form submit, uh, and the jobs. The most important action of all is the form submit. This is where we're using Glide's default OpenAI integration, which is called generate text. And we're sending these instructions, the prompt that is under settings to OpenAI. And then as the input, we have the PDF resume converted to text format. And then we are saving the result back into the form table. And from there, we can extract all the data that we want from the resume and also the summary, the pros and the cons and the overall match score it is returned as a JSON object. Now you can also use your own OpenAI API key and I've duplicated that action here. And instead of using the default generate text AI action, you can use the complete chat action that requires your own OpenAI key where you can select the model version. In this case, the latest one is GPT-4 Turbo Preview. And you can also tweak the model results. In this case, I have maximum length of 4,096 tokens. You can play with this to get different results. If you wanna change from the default OpenAI integration to process the resumes, you can always go to that action and then see where it's being used at, then click here. And we can see it's being used here under the submit button and we can change the default action by selecting the submit button. And then under action, we can go and change it to the OpenAI API version of that custom action. So there you go. This is an overview of a powerful applicant tracking system built with Glide that uses Glide's OpenAI integration to help process and select the best candidates for a given position. If you wanna get a copy of this template, just go to grumo.com slash recruit AI. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.